ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the School of Science. My name is Luke and today we're going to be looking at Everton Stadium and all the lovely stuff that's been updated from last week. So as we move on now into the East Stand, we're going to be looking at quite a few things. Well, actually not really in all fairness. In terms of the East Stand, not too much has changed. We are starting to see a little bit more of the shapes sticking out around the East Stand so we can actually see a little bit of the outcrop. Now, if you were to check the Everton virtual fly through, I always like doing this. I've been paying particular attention to certain areas because as we go through this video, you're going to notice. I'm going to mention a few things which actually stood out to me and not exactly cause of concern, more just cause of intrigue because the way certain parts of it are shaping out seem to actually kind of contradict how the stadium is meant to actually look through the fly through. So. It's going to be interesting to see how they actually shape around all this stuff and I wouldn't mind if anyone who's actually a professional in terms of this area of expertise if they want to actually, you know, reassure us or, you know, sort of fact check what I'm saying I would love for you to do that in the comment section. I do appreciate everyone's feedback. Now, as we go over to the south stand, you can see one of the new temporary blue structures up to support the roof trusses that's coming along the south stand. And we can see some of the roof steelwork that's being added. And it's almost like a, a joint piece for the entirety of the roof itself. So these pieces, you're going to see them. They look like a little weird grey ladder structure that you can see across it. It's blatantly obvious. I don't know why I'm explaining to you. You can see with your own two eyes. But yeah, as you go across, they're going to come across the entirety of the cell stand. And from there, it's just sort of going to hold the roof together. And it's also going to act like a almost arch sort of support for the south stand itself. Now, as we're going across towards the west stand, this is the area of contention I would like to talk about. Because you can see now in the bottom left, there's a bit of a white concrete face that's going, that's just, it's sort of outlining the outer face of the west stand. Now, in the virtual fly through, this is actually like the middle point, one of the main entrances to the west stand. And the thing that's confusing me is when you look in the virtual fly through, there's meant to be a staircase across all this. So you've got a staircase and also like a platform across where that staircase is that you can sort of look out on. And it links to the it links the west stand and everything together, but you can also see the channel where you've got your lovely decking and everything down at the very base of it. The thing that confuses me though is the fact that you've got the brick facade in it and looking at the brick facades in the virtual fly through and all this, this is probably going to get cut by the staircase because the staircase goes up quite significant. It's like nearly, I would say 10 to 12 feet in a rise. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused by that. So if anyone can actually clarify what's going on there, I would have thought this staircase would have been taken into account. It probably is. I'm just not seeing it properly, but please, if anyone can actually talk to me through that sort of stuff, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, as we look over to the North Stand, it's moving along as fast as the South Stand, obviously. The two of them are going up at an absolute lightning pace, and they need to at the moment, because if anyone here lives by the docks, they know that during the winter months and everything like that, when the weather's getting a bit crap, it's magnified by the fact that we've got the River Mersey and all the cold front that pushes through there. It basically comes from the Irish Sea in through via the river and it's just freezing around there. Everyone knows how cold it is around there. Um, so all this stuff that's coming up nice and quickly now, it needs to because what's probably going to happen is when we get into the dead of winter around January, February, this stuff needs to be completed and you can work on more small stuff, and more intricate stuff inside the stadium where they're not going to actually get interrupted by bad weather and you can rely less on the cranes. Because we all know, when it comes to high winds and cranes, they just don't go well together. And one thing to note actually as well, if anyone actually want to see the stadium, do you want to see it from like a really far off view, I want to make a recommendation for you. I would recommend one of two places. Either if you go to Everton Valley, get some binoculars and you can see it by where the tobacco warehouse is. Otherwise, what you can do, there's a... Where Central Key is. There's a car park there. You can actually see it rather clear there. And also, if Collingwood Dock is open as well, that's another one to do. Uh, Collingwood Dock Car Park, it's free entry around there. You can actually see the stadium from there, and it just looks absolutely great. So definitely get down, down there if you can. Also, thank you very much for watching. Here's the outro. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, I would like to just mention the YouTube membership scheme is now live. 
So how the YouTube membership works is very similar to how it used to work on Patreon. So what we have is we've got two tiers there. So we've got the cup of coffee tier and the school side super fan tier. Now these two tiers are essentially just ways to help this channel grow. So the money that comes into this channel, whether it be through monetization or through the membership scheme, it all goes back into the channel. It goes through different mediums like my lighting, stuff for the background, I'm getting some little bits and pieces in the background, I'm speaking to Just Doodlin and Nigel, just getting little bits and pieces, you know, like some... Uh, I want to get one, one thing, I have got one thing at the moment that I cannot wait to get up, I need to get some stuff together for it. I've got the Holy Trinity as a flag, uh, we got it, I don't know where we got it, it was gifted to me, but it's something that is going to be going on this back wall, and alongside that, there's going to be other little bits as well, like little bits, uh, like little cards and mini posters that are going to go on the back. Just stuff that's Everton related that's going to go here that we can actually brighten this place up with. And that sort of stuff is being made possible through money out of my own pocket, the monetization stuff from YouTube, as well as the membership stuff that's been from Patreon in the past that I've been sort of saving up and we can get things together. It's just, we're doing all this sort of stuff. The lighting as well was also provided by you guys. So that was greatly appreciated. So you can see me nice and clearly now. I actually look, I look proper. The camera quality is also better. I've got the earphones, thanks to you guys. I did have lapel mics in the past, but I feel like this is just that littlest bit better because you don't see something that's here pinching and you've got this awkward thing going on. Everything just looks right with these in at the moment. I do like this a little bit better. So yeah, if you want to be part of the membership here, we, as I said, we've got two tiers there, Cup of Coffee tier and the School Science Superfan. So the Cup of Coffee tier is essentially just £1 a month, and that £1 a month doesn't get you any real perks or benefits, but it is going towards the channel, so we can get little bits and pieces for the channel to help improve it. The School Science Superfan, what you're going to get is you're going to get early access and ad-free content to the channel, so any videos that go live, they're going to be on there first, and then... Later on down the line, they get made available for the public. So you get like a 24-hour window, 12 to 24-hour window, in order to watch and enjoy the video before everyone else. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's the sort of stuff that you're going to get through the membership. Now, if you don't want to do anything through the membership, so let's say for argument's sake, you're thinking, yeah, I appreciate that you want to do a membership and everything, but I don't really have like a three pound to be donating to you every month, or I don't have a pound to be donating every month. Cost of living and everything is a lot of crap, and I just, I can't afford it right now. You can, if you really want to help the channel, you can do one-off donations through the form of Super Thanks. These are down in the description. Well, they're around by the description, so you'll have like the Join button, Super Thanks, or Gift Thanks. Those things are in place there. You can do one-off donations. I mean, even if you can't even do that, just watching the videos through, if there's any ads that go through, just let them play through. That helps the channel significantly. But in any case, guys, that's enough of me begging for money. I do apologize if it sounds terrible and needy. It's just at the moment, I do want to try and improve the channel in any way I can. And what we've decided on doing for the channel is we're not going to go with the green screen option. We are going to be going, though, with a nice little backdrop set. So what will probably happen in the future, we might get rid of this shelf here. We do still, we will keep knickknacks and everything. Anything to do with Everton or the wines community of Everton, they will still be there. Like this little guy will still be here. All those things will still be around and whatnot. But we'll make it like a bigger, wider backdrop. So I'll be able to actually be a little bit further back to the wall. We'll have just a nice, clean background with little bits here and there. We're going to make it a little bit better because right now, I can't move very far. I'd like to be able to do videos when I'm actually mobile and moving around and everything, but I can't really do that with this in the way. So we're going to be working on that. We want to get more things in here, as I've said many time and time again. But in any case, guys, that is all from me this week. I'm going to be seeing you all next week. We're going to have another video going on of Bramley Moor. Uh, as you can see, the root trusses are coming together, so hopefully we're going to see a lot more from that in the near future. So anyway, guys, take care. Hope you have a lovely week, and I'm going to see you all next week. Peace.